guys, welcome to Dash Off Road January holiday. Uh, we're heading west, as in not past the border, we're staying in South Australia, checking out the peninsulas. And I'm gonna do what I do and vlog this trip like I do most of the holidays I do. I've got Steve Allen's family behind me, uh, he's coming along, and I'll, good chance we're gonna bump into a heap of other 62s along the way. Uh, there will be some ball driving. I want to know what's going to be like towing with the supercharger now. Because I very much know what fuel gets to set that. Uh, we have to do a $6.20 fine. I'll talk more about that later. Uh, we'll talk a bit about this new stereo that I'm using. Um, there's going to be heaps to talk about. So I won't do it all in just this vlog. But um, yeah, there's uh, battery setups. Whether we're going to use a generator or whether we're going to use the inverter and the, or the new DCS battery in the back. It's going to be heaps to show you and talk about and some cool ball driving. So, um, yep, strap in. Uh, if you're at home, I feel sorry for you because we're going, <laughs> we're going west. compared to uh, a naturally aspirated Y62. We just pulled out of our Drossen service station. Steve filled up again, I filled up again, I'll talk about that in a sec. But driving with a supercharger. So uh, around town, actually my route to work, I think I was using a little bit less fuel. Um, the problem is, where if I get the chance to put my foot down? So that stuff's all of that up. But driving around with a supercharger and towing, it is actually quite a different experience. We're going up a bit of an incline now. And what happens is, like, superchargers use power to make power. So, um, if it gets to a point where you're driving in sixth and it wants to drop down to fifth because it's running out of torque, um, it drops down to fifth, but then the supercharger needs power to make power. I'm gonna make it up. Say it needs 20 kilowatts um, to, to start making power. Well, it drops down to fifth it can't find that power because it's sucked more up and then it wants to drop down to fourth again so uh, you have to try and change your technique a little bit uh, when driving the supercharger it just means driving a manual and uh, as uh, Ilya 3062 says you've got to get into it a little bit earlier um, so it's not always dropping down gears to find the power that it wants because if you just leave it and drive and let it run it'll drop down two gears and sit on like 5,000 rpm and make all the power it wants to so when it is generally like flat driving though, and you're going up slight incre inclines, before it was dropping down quite a bit, and now I just find it holds gears much better than it used to. Doesn't My drivability with the supercharger is brilliant, but then we come to the fuel. All right, so Steve's um, behind me, he's towing a somewhat similar size uh, van. Uh, probably a tad lighter than our car and no roof rack and that sort of thing. So he was getting 25.6 litres per hundred um, from like Virginia to Ardrossum. I got a tad more than that. But keep in mind, I've got a rear bar, there's a roof rack. And on this trip, because we've got friend, uh, family in Ardrossum, generally I get around 27. Well, the way these y 62 work, it's 27.7, not six, not five. It's always 27.7. So we ended up getting uh, 30.5. So yes, superchargers do use a little bit more power, uh, but you are rewarded, uh, sorry, they use more fuel, but you are rewarded with power and drivability. So, uh, and let's be honest, like, do we really need to justify a supercharger anyway? Next, this stereo. Um, I keep promising I'm going to do a bit of big review on it, but I'm just not ready to yet. It's coming soon, but the maps, everybody knows the Y62 maps are woeful. Just they were, you know, last updated in 1996. So now when we came through Port Waifu, for example, there's a lot of roadworks because they're changing, uh, they're doing a Port Waifu bypass. It was all up to date. We're offline, we're not using internet, and I could see all of the maps. It was all brilliant. So big screen, easy to read straight away massive advantage on the maps without talking about anything else with the stereo. Right, now we've got a little bit to go. We're heading down to uh, Port Morawi to start with and then we'll probably spend the next, oh, I don't know, 
been up to a week doing things down the bottom of your peninsula. Um, so we'll take you along and we'll show you um, everything else that's happening with the, with the car and uh, our 12 volt setups and all of that sort of jazz. Here we go. We made camp, we're down here at Port Morawi. I had all these plans to keep videoing, showing you um, the induction cooking and all that sort of stuff, but it's too, well it's way too windy to get the, the gas Weber out. It's way too windy to record, I'm not even sure if you're hearing this. So, well, I'm gonna call this a test night on induction cooking and um, we'll see how that goes. And then uh, later in the trip, uh, on another vlog, I'll show you exactly like the difference between BCDC charger cooking and what I'm doing the Victron combiner I'm sorry it's just horrible weather so I'm gonna call this one right now and I'll see you for the next vlog on YouTube yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> 